What's up everyone? Thank you for all the support on my iPad mini video. I was in shock with all of the comments, all of the likes, all of the questions, and especially my question at the end. If you wanted to see something about Notion, leave a comment below. And there was quite a few comments about people wanting to see my Notion workspace. So with that being said, I'm pleased to give you a video on how I use Notion in my life, how I use the workspace to basically bump up my productivity and the production of the things I do. And this is gonna be a top-down video. It's gonna be basically a one-shot all the way through. So if you're not into that, just tune into the next video. And with that, I hope you enjoy this one. So here we go to my iPad Pro. All right, so as we go down to the iPad, as you can see right here, we have the first thing, the cover photo, and that is from my CinePack. It's my record for my FX3. That'll be linked below. I have my logo, my name, and then the three things I focused on in my channel, tech, filmmaking, and lifestyle. As we go down, the first thing we have is the tasks. And this is what I moved over from Things 3 and Reminders is my tasks. And now they live in Notion all in really one place. And then under there, I have it broken down into three sections, creative, brainstorm, and personal. I have my important projects populated and then two of my productive music Spotify playlist right under that. And that's what really makes up my, my workspace, my homepage. And as I dump into each one of these, you'll be able to see kind of how everything's customized and really linked all together. So as we come down here, the first thing we go to is the creative and we'll go to the content calendar. And within here, I have each project I'm working on. So the first thing you see is I have the video ID and this is what categorizes where the video takes place really. It's how I kind of use Notion with my laptop to get ultimately ID number for if I need to go back and find a video, I just know it's number 89 on my computer or the thumbnails and all that stuff. So that all matches up. And then we have the status. Concept means it's something I've thought of that I know I'm gonna shoot. Scheduled means I have a date I'm gonna shoot it. Production means I've been storyboarding, I'm ready to go, we're ready to shoot it. Editing means I'm editing, and of course published means published. I have the published date, the video title, um, the series it lives in. So for me, reviews, uh, the vlog, first impressions, shorts, tutorials, and lifestyle. That of course grows. URL, payment, and then tasks and sponsors, of course, if there happens to be a sponsor. So as we jump into these, we jump into my Notion space. Within here, I have everything you just read. And then you see these tasks. And these tasks link to basically my to-do list and my tasks throughout the day, which you'll see a little bit later. But they all live within here. And these are all linked by a relation. So then you come down here and you have title. And these are just some titles I could use when I ultimately publish this video. We have thumbnails. These are some ideas of thumbnails I want to do. And then when I post it, the description, which will go with the title. We come underneath that and we have the script and storyboard. This one's real light because this is supposed to be like a raw, me just talking video. So I have what I have. I have my A-roll open and then I just have basically my camera top down shot is what you're seeing right now. And that's what lives in script and storyboard. A lot of them are a lot more intense than the others. Some are not. So as we go back, that's really the content calendar. And that's the first thing. We come down here and now we have equipment list. And these are the things that I just wanna buy as equipment. I have camera stuff, lighting stuff, studio stuff, and then just ultimate tech stuff. And I have this all categorized right in here just so it's at a quick glance when I need new gear, I can kind of rationalize what gear to buy. Digital store, and I have my Cine wallpaper pack, which I talked about earlier, which will also be linked down below. But in here is just kind of where projects go and things go. So like price for this, this is a $10 pack. So I'll just throw 10 in there. And just like that, it updates like that. And you can change the concept. So I actually finished the LUT pack so I can hit complete. And that's the digital store. So and then we go to brainstorm. And this is where I kind of throw ideas down on paper. We have YouTube and right in here, I have some videos that I kind of want to do. And these are just ideas that I get on the go and just throw them in here. And then we come over here and right here I have a YouTube, uh, uh, right here I have an Instagram reel linked and this is just a edit I liked and I know I wanna do that in the future and learn how to do it. So I keep it in here just to remember. As we come back, we have shorts and reels and I live in this one a lot. I got a lot of inspiration watching a lot of content and if I have an idea that I wanna make a reel or a short on, I throw it in here. I've learned not to make them in the content calendar, which I used to do in the past, strictly because these videos are a lot easier to make and I want the frequency to be a lot more. So it's easier just to have a running list. And then tutorials, these are again, 
just things I find on the internet that I link here that I like the way they were edited or I like an effect or I like the way the reel was done or whatever it is. And I can always just come back here um, to kind of have a bookmark of things I like to do. And then finally, personal. Tasks is my main newest thing and it's built in this calendar form as you can see and each one of these is my tasks for the day. So as we go to the sixth, we have every task I have. So example for this video, I have shoot A-roll and shoot B-roll. So as I click shoot B-roll, as you can see, it's linked to my Notion workspace, which I brought up earlier are the relation tasks in the Notion creative content folder area. And that's there and you can see it links right to where I originally was and that's where those are. But as I go back and you see the content calendar and I come back into tasks, I just throw all of my tasks in here. And an example is you come in here and each day there's new tasks and they're just there. They're color coordinated, they got check marks, they got a specific uh, logo for whatever it is. But as we come back and say we wanna add a task. So right here, I have it built in the filter where if I finish something, I just check it off and it's gone. So for example, shoot B-roll. Doing that right now, disappeared. Final shot for love pack, haven't done that yet. The example of doing a new one is you come in here and you type in example. The date, let's say it's uh, tomorrow. Tags, mm, this seems like a to-do and I know what to-do, my icon for to-do is uh, the list icon, this one right here. Um, content calendars, nothing. Digital stores, nothing. And that's really it. So then that lives and you can see there it is example right there. And if I need to move it around, can move it there can move it there. So that's really how my tasks work. And this is the newest addition really of my Notion workspace space is this tasks app. And the reasoning I did it like this was I found myself doing a lot of things twice. I found myself making a content plan and then having to do all of it on reminders or do it all on things three. And I kind of just wanted it all to live in strictly one place. And that's what this does. So we have budget. I'm not gonna go into that because you don't need to see my budget. And then I have my goals, which is a little personal to me. So you really don't need to see that either, to be honest. And then as we come down here, like I said, important projects. So this is sorted, as you can see, as I hit filter, these are sorted by um, the status. So anything that's in production or editing or really scheduled sometimes, they automatically link right here. So that's where this is right there. And it's really customizable. And that's the fun with Notion is everything is so customizable that you can really do anything and it gets almost overwhelming to a degree. So say I wanted to change this and I wanted my publish to live here too. All I hit is that and now all of the publish to live here. Um, I have it set at 10, 10, but it can go to a lot more. But let's fix that because that's going to get overwhelming. And let's take out published. And that's an example of that. You can set things like you come in here and uh, you have your rules. And in here I have my rules as today's date is uh, filtered as a rule and is today. will automatically populate the stuff that happens today. And then I have filter two is the day before. So if I don't complete something, it automatically moves over to the next day. I have it set where if something's checked, it disappears. So you can set all types of filters, but that's the beauty of this. I have my music here, which is just a couple of my favorite playlists um, that I use kind of as a product productivity playlist. And that lives right there. But as you go to the home screen, you can see how I have it built. I have it built as widgets. So I have a widget here that goes strictly to my homepage. And then I have a widget here that goes to my content calendar. So when I do my iPad like this, and this is the iPad I use the most, I have my homepage. I come over here, I have the content calendar. I have shorts and real ideas. And then I have my YouTube ideas. And these all live in here and these all live right there so I can just go to things really fast. And this is the iPad I'm using most of the time. So that's why it's all set like that right there. But that's really my Notion workspace. That's how I've done it. That's how I do it. That's how I've break, broken things down. I figured tasks is the first thing. And then my categories, creative, brainstorm, personal, the important projects I'm working in because ultimately those are the things I'm putting the most time and passion into. And then finally, I have just some music playlists which are ever growing day by day. So that right there is my Notion workspace. Hope you enjoyed that video on kind of how Notion works in my everyday life and how I use it. And I hope it's what you guys wanted. So 
Leave a comment below if it's what you are looking for and if you want me to go more in depth, I can. But that was just the basics. So with that, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And always, thank you for all the love and all the support, especially on this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.